This avatar was built for a commission two years ago. The facial blend shapes were created in Faceit. I'll show you how in the following section. Select your head mesh in the Faceit Setup tab. Click on the register objects with your head mesh selected. The face main mandatory field now has all vertices assigned from the registered object face mesh. Select the eyes mesh. It's a single mesh with both eyes. Press this plus icon to register the mesh in the list. The eyeball section is now available. We need to assign vertex groups for each eye. Enter edit mode, select the vertex, press Ctrl L to select the left eye, then click on the left eyeball. Again, select one vertex, press Ctrl L, then click on the right eyeball button. Both vertex groups were directly assigned by our selection into the correct vertex group names for Faceit requirements. We will also register the eye highlights but as a secondary object. Select your right eye highlight mesh and then come here and click other right. Now select the left eye highlight vertex and then assign it with this other left button. With this, our eyes plus the highlights were registered with their respective vertex groups for Faceit to work with this at the moment of the formation. Let's go and continue with the next object, which is the eyelashes. In this case, since both eyelids are a single object and you're just required to register one single object for both eyelids, this already works. So click on the eyelids button right here and the vertex group will be created. So that thing is assigned. Next, we need to continue to add the rest of the meshes, but be careful, make sure that none of your other meshes inside the mouth have a mirror modifier applied, or rather none applied. As you can see here, these are different meshes separated, and that is convenient so that we can register them separately. So I'm going to register the upper teeth and then click on this button right here, upper teeth, to register the vertex group. Then the lower teeth, of course, it's going to be assigned, and also the tongue. With all of those things assigned, the face is ready. You can also add other steel things that go on the head, such as hats and things like that. But for now, let's just concentrate on the things that we currently have in this model. So everything has been registered, and that is good. This is the, the exact workflow that we're looking for to bind or create the controls to manipulate the expressions of this, on this character and you can see that the vertex groups are perfectly named here okay so the next step is to rig and bind this head how do we do that well we're going to switch to the next tab which is called rig right here and you will see this button that says generate landmarks this is important because this is going to basically track uh, the topology of your face so the first click the first time you click you're going to position your mask in the base of the chin from there left click and then you're going to jump into another mode where you're going to drag up and down and what we have right here is uh, to control the eye line okay for the uh, next controls that we're going to create and third you're going to move your mouse left and right and then click because that is going to adjust the width of the face and once you make that third click then you're going to see the landmarks from here it's just a matter of manipulating them so that it can be adjusted to your current character's face topology and this is important because you have to make sure that these points right here in the middle of the eye rather are aligned okay you really need to look forward to align the center points of your eyes that is what that is what it's going to create the blinking control so that's why it's important next you're going to click on project um, landmarks and that is also going to help you from a side view so here we are going to continue to adjust all of these points in the way that I'm doing right here okay once we're done with the landmarks now we need to concentrate on the generate face it rig and this will create the controls for the face but it is not bound to the face for that we need to click here on this button bind and then just click ok here are some of the options for the advanced uh, settings but we just click ok and with that our face and all of the registered elements are now bound to this control so what we can see here is that the eyes are not really perfect 
and this is the purpose of this video because I want to show you how we can fix that specifically for non-realistic models, such, such in this case for an anima male model. Okay, so let's go back to objects because I have demonstrated this in the past with female models, but this time we're going to do this with male models. One thing amazing about Face It is that you can go back in time and re-edit whatever uh, you have created previously. In this case, we can go back to the landmarks to edit them. And in there, we have this button that says Create Locator Empties, but it is ghosted. How can we make it available? Well, it's really simple. You just click here on the uh, object mode, select the mask, and now this becomes available. From there, you can just click OK for the first um, option, which is the eye locators. And now we're going to select both eye locators and bring them back to where the, the center of an imaginary sphere eye will be. Make sure that you uncheck snap, otherwise both of your locators will end up in the same location. So uncheck snap and from there we're going to calculate, rather eyeballing, this is a pun intended, um, where the center is going to be for both eyes. But that's really easy because your model is symmetrical, so that's no problem. Once you have finished that, now we can click here on Edit Landmarks to make any kind of last minute adjustments such as the chin or the nose, the tip of the nose, maybe the lower part of the jaw, whatever. And then you're going to click Generate Face, Face It Rig. Now we have the controls back, but the controls have not been bound to the mesh. So that's why we're going to click on Bind. We already talked about the options, but now if we enter Pose Mode and select any of the controls, specifically the eyes, now the eyes are going to roll according to an imaginary center which was helped by the positioning of those empty eyes uh, objects. And that's amazing. Now we can finally control the eyes and the looks. The next tab is going to be expressions. From here, we're going to load the preset ARCHID, which comes with the 52 ARCHID blend shapes ready to go for your model. So what this does in um, under the hood is to create a bunch of keyframes in, a, in the dope sheet so that you can see that every 10 or so keyframes, your facial pose is already uh, created okay so that's the idea there posing bones to create blend shapes I'm going to repeat that very slowly so that you can get the general ideas so now we're going to explore what happens when we need to create a new pose okay so what's the workflow there first of all you can see that every click that you create that you do here it's going to manipulate and change the poses but if you try to create one new pose what's going to show you it's an error because you're not first of all in pose mode you need to be in pose mode so every time you create a new custom pose you're going to get keyframes and also you're going to get the name for that blend shape so now that we're in pose mode we're going to try to write the new name that we want to create and then it says warning there is an expression that has been already created so you can scroll down maybe you don't see it you can scroll down and then you can see right there but we're missing more time in the timeline okay so what we're going to do right now is to activate the auto keying, okay? And, we're, and then we're going to pose each of the bones for this facial rig. And that in turn is going to create our expression. So we have this AA expression. We're going to create a new expression right now. Okay, so click on the plus sign. Let's, re let's name this new expression, OH. And then it's going to tell us, okay, there's an error. There's not enough timeline or rather be careful. Your timeline is not allowing these uh, keyframes to be created. So we reactivate a lot uh, auto keying. And now we're going to pose our OH uh, vowel or uh, mouth pose, if we can say it that way. Anyways, you already saw the warning, so this is very important because you have to remember that for the entire timeline that you have, you need to have available uh, timelines, frames, okay? Maybe you have a few uh, timeline frames and then the poses, the, the facial poses are not going to get exported. So make sure that the keyframes for those bones are created and also that you have enough time in your timeline to export. Now let's talk about sculpting expressions. As you can see, this um, closing eyelid is not really good. Okay, let me just zoom in so that you can see this, what's going on. 
So how do we fix that? We need to sculpt that. And we have this mode, this little icon, knife icon, to create our uh, corrective blend shape, if we can call it that way. But um, we cannot select it. So the way we can do that is by selecting the head, the proper head mesh, and then our sculpt knife tool becomes available. Now using the grab tool in sculpt mode, try to sculpt your uh, blinking. There you can also see the mirror icon. So once you finish one of your eyelid poses, you can click on mirror and then that will automatically create the other side of the face for that mirroring expression. That is really important. This is how you save time. You only sculpt once and then you just mirror it to the other side. So I'm going to be fast forward in this because I think you by now get the workflow of, of the entire expression for the face. You basically post them the bones uh, make sure that you have enough time in your timeline uh, you can sculpt and correct and mirror your poses so let's talk about the step number four which is baking those expressions okay you work hard now your character is expressive enough so what do we do next we want to transfer all of those pose bones into blend shape so for that we need the button bake we're going to click on bake shape keys and then we're going to encounter all of these options so follow me on this one for now we're going to just quickly click ok and then you can see that all of our poses have been now transferred to the blend shape keys list okay and we see that all of them still have um, a keyframe so what we're going to do is to clean everything up so just click here and follow me on the following options that I'm, I'm showing you in this video Okay, so we're going to check all of these uh, check boxes and then press OK. And that will remove the keyframes, the control parents will remove everything. So you're going to basically have your head mesh with the blend shapes in. That's it. Okay, so now let's talk about troubleshooting because we have been running and gunning through this entire video, but it is time that you approach the real world problems that you're going to encounter. First of all, each separate object in the head is going to have its own blend shape list. So um, in order to, for example, blink at the same time, you're going to have to merge that those eyelashes with the head. So I'm going to select the eyelashes, shift click the head, and then press Ctrl J. With that, you're, you're going to join the eyelashes. But we have a problem. We have a problem. We did not apply the mirror modifier, and now it's telling us you cannot apply this because you have blend shapes. Uh-oh, that's a problem. So that's why I always recommend to you always apply the mirror modifier before going into rigging. So let's go back in time and if you remember we had this um, um, eyelashes as a separate object right but the next thing we need to take care of is to apply the mirror modifier so we're clean with blend shapes so that's no problem and then click right here and select apply with that those two eyelashes are no longer mirrored are just one single object and then we can see that since we have already registered the eyelids, the poses are still active. So now let's rebake. Okay, we went back in time. We opened back our save file, whatever. And now let's rebake and let's also clean everything up. So let's just mark all of these checkboxes as before. Please take the time to read them, pause the video, zoom in, maximize, do whatever you need. Uh, read this carefully and then press just OK. Fantastic, so now we're clean. We still have to select this uh, single keyframe. Press A, press X, and then delete the keyframe. And now we're going to join back the head, and with that, we have only one single blend shape to control all of those different objects. Please be mindful that this will also happen with the mouth and the tongue and any other uh, object in the head that is separated, okay? So just be careful with that. Okay, let's talk about the second kind of troubleshooting that you might encounter. Once you bake your blend shapes, uh, for example, this AA uh, blend shape, and it's not present, that was because we did not make enough time in the timeline. So fix that before baking. Change the duration of the timeline by adding more frames, and that will solve this problem. So everything will export according to the timeline, so please be mindful of that. And also, let's not forget to always apply the mirror modifier so that all of the objects are just one single object, not mirrored. And now we're going to proceed to the Bake tab and click OK to bake all of your poses 
into blend shape that is exactly what we want and also we want to clean everything from this face we don't want the rig we don't want any kind of uh, extra things like the empties no we just want the mesh and the blend shapes so that's what we have right here so let's just delete all of that and now if we click on the eye blink left blend shape we can see that it corresponds directly so everything is working perfectly fine let's just join this uh, so it can so that it can become only one object all right so everything is looking pretty neat and then we can do the same with the teeth and the mouth you can join everything together so that only one blend shape list will control your entire facial expressions and now we can see that the AA uh, blend shape is there as well as the other one okay so I hope that this is all clear if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below so from here everything is just a stream workflow you have now master face it controls and blend shapes and I'm going to be fast forwarding this so that you can see that I'm adding new expressions I'm correcting things with the eyes the blinking uh, basically going into the edit mode so that I can fix after everything has been baked specifically or fine-tuning the expressions more like I really want for this character you can also see that I corrected the UVs the texture map really creating a VTuber in this case um, it's a lot of work but it's very rewarding as well because once you see it moving in the camera by the tracking software or uploading it to a uh, motion capture um, service or an AI service it's it's really you know very very re rewarding the experience that you get by expressing yourself with your own avatar by the way this is this was a commission back in I think it was March of this year but since the clearance for the NDA was already lifted I can finally show this kind of model I really do a lot of NDA work and it's been like years now that I have um, recorded things that I want to show you how they were created so yeah this is basically a 2021 or 20 <laughs> avatar anyway so this is the workflow that it generally gets you to you know be expressive as much as you can with your tracking software and this is part of everything that concerns the rigging this is another time lapse so that you can see how many elements how many bones how many uh, wiggle bones went into making this character which is amazing because it, it kind of represents a young guy with these headphones you know and the headphones you know were bouncing and also the jacket as you can see right there the the buckles that the, that the jacket has also were bumpy you know like jumping and they have a lot of wiggling uh, when this guy dances because this uh, VTuber was for someone who wanted a commission for a B dancing VTuber so anyways this has been everything thank you so much for watching this video I know it has been a little bit long uh, in regards of the other ones but I really wanted to inspire you to not give up I know it sometimes gets messy but uh, if you have questions about face it, please let me know in the comment section down below You can also click on the link so that you can get face it and try this on your own models My name is Pierre Schiller. Thank you so much for watching this video And I hope to see you in the next one and let me ask you something. Have you tried blender? Try blender blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible